All right, I'm uh, Professor Sanjeev Mukherjee. I am at Northeastern University, which is located in Boston, Massachusetts, of course, in the United States. Uh, I, uh, I head a center called uh, Northeastern University Center for Renewable Energy Technology. And our primary goal in that center is, of, to, of course, to lead the three pillars, education, outreach, and research. Among our uh, chief research uh, mission is uh, fuel cells and batteries and hybrid systems which combine the, the two uh, together. Uh, one of the examples of a hybrid system would be a lithium air battery and uh, as a part of that uh, we are very lucky to have uh, Professor K.M. Abraham who is part of our um, center and he is the inventor of lithium air batteries. Uh, with the original patent in his name and I'm very happy uh, because I transcend both the fundamental and the applied aspects of uh, the technology so we work with a whole host of uh, graduate students and postdocs uh, to lead our mission in uh, clean energy conversion and storage so you mentioned that uh, you're working on electric vehicles that have to do with lithium air batteries, the combination of lithium air batteries. Okay, so let me give you a synopsis of our uh, uh, vehicle-related technology. The most important mission is to bring down the cost of fuel cells. Right now, uh, the cost of fuel cells have progressed from approximately $5,000 a kilowatt down towards uh, several hundred dollars a kilowatt, depending on who you talk to. Uh, DOE's mission is to bring it down to $53 a kilowatt uh, actually, that's the current mission. And uh, different car companies have different opinions about it because, after all, uh, the technology is based on platinum and platinum alloys. Uh, I have uh, a good fortune to work with Nissan. And according to Nissan, uh, as long as you can have a 70 kilowatt fuel cell in a car containing around 10 grams of platinum, we are fine because that's the amount of uh, platinum which is in your catalytic converter. So that's our challenge as far as fuel cells are concerned in the near future. In the distant future, of course, we have to do away with platinum altogether. So I'm leading a big project from DOE uh, with several in in institutions including universities, national labs and a company to actually bring down the cost in terms of uh, completely doing away with platinum and so that's one of our main goals lithium air is something our technology for the future uh, there are lots of challenges and it'll take about 10 years to have that perhaps uh, into some shape or form for commercialization it has a 34 kilowatt hour battery only that's half of what you need for an actual practical Fortunately, they claim 100 mile uh, range, but the vehicle I was driving, the moment I got in, it said fully charged, but the miles on it was only 63. When I turned the air conditioner on, immediately it went down to 55. So you can imagine that this vehicle will have very limited sales because the, 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 the uh, driving range is a, is a big concern. But it's a wonderful exercise because a lot of technologies have been developed in terms of power management in the battery and how the vehicle works, and regenerative braking and all of that things. Uh, those technologies will be applied for the future uh, more advanced battery systems. And here is the, of course, the really the wonderful thing. I wish I get a chance to drive this thing. This is, uh, uh, let me see if I have the cost in here. Yes about a hundred thousand dollars only so this is for film stars but it's a wonderful uh, uh, technology bed and by the way this car was developed at a uh, record 50 million dollar price range so this is the total development cost normally a car costs billions of dollars to bring into the market this was very cheaply done 
And this runs on 18650 batteries, so you can imagine it has 6831 18365 cells. For those who don't know what an 18 millimeters by 65 millimeter uh, battery, this is a conventional battery which is round. The engineering for this battery has been has evolved over the years, and it is very very close tolerance system. I will show you the, how this is lithium cobalt oxide uh, cathode system, graphite anode, typical uh, uh, Sony uh, battery technology. Now, of course, what is required is now to take this lithium cobalt oxide system, which is here, and, and as was shown uh, previously in the two talks by uh, Bruno and Khalil, uh, you can actually take it up much further by using different materials. So there are, I will go through all those materials and show you how far 